guys, it's Lynette. Sorry, it's been about another, I think my last video was on August 25th. Um, it's September, oh wow, it's been exactly a month. Um, sorry, it's been so long in between updates. Um, oh, I'm not naked. <laughs> Just gotta get that out there. Um, Today is Wednesday, September 25th, and I had chemo yesterday. Um, the chemo that I had was only the gemcitabine because I asked my doctor if we could get rid of the abraxane. Um, unfortunately, I still feel like crap when I get chemo, which I guess is expected. I just thought it might be a little easier um, because we did get rid of the Abraxane. Um, sorry, I'm looking a little busted. Um, this is a different wig. I've been wearing this one a lot because um, it's like one of my faves. And they don't sell it anymore, or I'd put the information about what it is. I actually went through a box of my wigs and pulled this out. Um, if you want to look her up, she's by Vanessa Wigs, and her name is Super Alexi, A-L-E-X-I. And this color is called Cookie. It has, like, the blonde on the bottom in the center. There's like a darker blonde and then the brown um but yeah it's it's an old one that i never wore and now it's like my favorite and i can never get it again so there's that um i'm feeling like i want to vomit i'm on my zofran i took two of the zofran i'm probably gonna take a third even though it's second day um, my neuropathy is still hanging around. Um, I haven't been able to feel the balls of my feet for a few months. And every now and then I get stabbies in them, which that isn't fun. Um, but, uh, one good update that I'm coming to you with is my tumor markers are all the way down to 26. Um, now, as you all know, tumor markers are just one indicator of cancer. Um, the normal range for ACA199, excuse me, the normal rate, a person who's normal, is from 0 to 37. I was at 34, and now I'm at 26. But that doesn't mean that I don't have cancer. Um, I have to wait for my CT scan to verify that all of the lesions or nodules are either gone or maybe they're under control. I'm still doing the Joe Tippins protocol. Um, I believe that's what's beating up, killing, taking care of the cancer. Um, my cats are there. Come here, little fatty. You guys want to see her? Ugh. This is my baby. She's like, why are you holding me like this? I usually hold her like a baby. This is my cat. I have a black cat. And her name is Bean. And I love her. When I had my surgery and slept in the front room, she was with me the whole time. She would stay right next to the the couch while I was where I was sleeping. She was like my my therapy pet. <laughs> I'm gonna put you down now, okay, Porky? She's a big cat. I feed her a lot. <laughs> there you go. Um. So yeah, tumor markers are at 26. Yay. Um. You know, I'm honestly at a point where I feel like I want to stop chemo altogether. Um, 
and I'm going to seriously give that some thought in this, these next couple weeks. I go every other Tuesday, um, but it just seems like with each dose, it's taking longer for me to be able to um, get back to normal. Um, and I just, I'm not feeling great about that. Um, my oncologist sent me an email a few days ago. Um, I think in my last video, uh, we had talked about, it was like over four months past my surgery that I had, my Whipple surgery. And my oncologist said he wanted to send the tumor in for testing. Well, I found that strange because shouldn't they test it like right after the surgery um, and not four months, over four months later? Um, I, I didn't get that. Um, but I was like, okay, you know, if he wants to test the tumor to see if I can get in any clinical trials or any immunotherapies, anything like that, I thought, okay, well, you know, at least that avenue will be available to me should anything change. Um, but uh, about a week ago, I got another email from my oncologist who said that the people that would have ran the testing on the tumor um, suggested they go in and get a fresh piece of lesion or nodule on my liver um, because they feel that the tumor that was extracted from my body may have been um, altered by the radiation that I went through and they would rather have an accurate depiction of the cancer to um, you know better assess what's available to me um, I asked him if I could have time to think about it and he said yes I'm not a I'm not exactly thrilled at the idea of having a hole punched <laughs> into me from the outside because they will have to take a biopsy of my liver from the outside in. Um, and I know that's going to hurt. I don't, I don't yet know if I'm going to do it or not. Um, I'm kind of wanting to find out if, um, if the Panicure that I'm taking, the Fenbendazole, if that could actually keep the cancer gone or at bay. Um, I hate having to wait, you know, three months to get another CT, but completely understand it's because of the radiation exposure. You don't want to get a secondary type of cancer when you're fighting one, you know, and, and I just happen to be fighting pancreatic cancer. Um, that's no longer on my pancreas, but is on my liver. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm sitting right about now. That, and I'm barfy. <laughs> um, I haven't actually, I haven't actually vomited, but it just feels like I want to. Um, I definitely wanted to um, come back with an update. I wish I had more info to give you guys, um, but for right now, that's where I'm sitting. Um, I'll probably do another tumor marker test. Mm, maybe in two weeks, I don't know. Um, I kind of wanted to stop the chemo and then do the tumor marker test. I'm, you know, if <laughs> I've been using myself as a guinea pig to test different theories quite a bit. I mean, I was told, um, sugar feeds cancer and I figured, okay, while I'm on chemo and I'm on this protocol, um, 
I'm going to try to eat some sugar and see if, you know, my tumor markers increase. Well, I did. I had sugar. Um, I didn't go ham or nothing, but um, I did have more sugar than usual. And my tumor markers decreased. So, um, that, though, doesn't mean anything, um, I guess. I don't know. Um, there are no scientific studies out there that I could find that proves, without a doubt, that sugar feeds cancer. Um, if any one of you come across something, please like post it down in the comments because I would love to read that. I'm not going crazy eating sugar. I mean, it's not. Um, every now and then I will allow myself a treat though. Um, I just recently celebrated what would have been my father's 80th birthday. Um, my father, as you all know, he passed in 2007 from pancreatic cancer. Um, so... I celebrated his birthday. He would have been 80 this year. It was on the 23rd, it was two days ago. And my mom and my daughter and I went to go get some ice cream and I got a butterscotch dipped vanilla cone in memory of my dad. Um, so yeah, there's that. I don't have an appointment until two weeks from now, I think two, two more weeks, might even be more. Um, so yeah, that's all that's going on. Um, I don't know if I want to do like life updates in between. I don't, um, I'm not sure what you guys would want to see. I'm trying to keep this just about cancer, um, but every you know, now and then something else like comes about in my life and I don't know if I should uh, share it on here or, um, you know, just keep it, keep it just about cancer. Um, so thank you all for watching and for coming back. I'm sorry there's like big delays in between my videos. Um, I just try to record anytime I get something new or anything like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and hopefully next time I come back it'll be with some excellent news. <laughs> okay, bye.